Good evening folks, welcome to this week's episode of Beer Rating with Sean Connors. Something a little bit different this week. I'll show you what it is. This is my first month with the beer club. And basically what it is, every month I get a dozen beers. It's supposed to be six different beers. Uh, four different styles, there's two, two of each. I uh, went halves on, a, on this with a buddy of mine. Uh, so I'm going to crack it open. I'm not going to drink the beer today. Uh, my buddy's coming down to get his beer, so I want to uh, go through it. So I'll see what's in there. And then in another day or so, I'll finish the video. And of course, I don't have a... I have no idea what type. It's supposed to be craft beers from across Canada. Like I said, every month, I'll get a dozen beer for next year. Alright, so let's see what we have. A little bit of oh, a little newsletter. Alright, so we have the first one is Weatherhead Brewing Company. And that's a Marsden. They call it the Water Witch, which is funny because here in Puchko, there's actually a site called the Water Witch. It was a sailing disaster. This one is, it's a strong beer, 5.8, and Perth, Ontario. Hmm, weatherhead. This one is, it says Grain and Grit, Thrillsner, Dry Hop Pilsner, 4.8, out of Hamilton, Ontario. This one is Crooked Nose Stout. And this one is out of where? Hopeville, Ontario. I have a theme here. This one is the Brock Street Brewing Company's West Coast Red IPA, another strong beer, a specialty series. Uh, also out of Ontario. Well, it's Ontario month. This is another Brock Street. And this is Blaine's Black IPA, another strong beer, 6.5. And the final one. Another grit and grain, free spirit, a wheat bale with mango. And once again, another Hamilton. So that's the six beers of the box. I'll just zoom in so you can see them. I probably don't do reviews on all of these. Obviously, I only do one a week usually. I'm not sure which ones I will do. Official review. See, this is one I'm probably going to do definitely. There you go, folks. Six beers from the beer box, and I'll continue this probably in a day or so, and we'll give one a try. Cheers. Welcome back, folks. The second half of this video. Earlier, I just basically opened up the box. It was a I uh, joined a beer club, a craft beer club. So every month they send me six beers, or sorry, they send me twelve beers. It's two of each, so six different beers. I've gone halves with a buddy of mine, so he uh, dropped by earlier. That's why I had to open it. But now I'm going to try one of them. So I'm all lined up. I think I'm going to try this bad boy right here. And this one is the Free Spirit Wheat Beer with Mango. So it's a wheat beer and mango flavor. And the brewery is Green and Grit. And since I, the earlier video I took, a earlier part of this video, I noticed in the box there was a newsletter came with the uh, beer. Well, it looks like a newsletter. And basically it's just a little description of all the different types of beers in the box. So today's beer, as I said, it's Grain and Grit, and it's basically a husband and wife team out of Hamilton, I believe. Yeah, Hamilton. Uh, they had a dream of opening their own brewery. They got into craft brewery, brewing. They enjoy it so much, they decided to make a living out of it. And they also they tell you a little bit about each beer, but they also tell you a little bit about each brew. So for this one, the Free Spirit Wheat and Mango, 4.8% alcohol. It says, aromas of grape, freshly cut mango, lemon, and a hint of banana 
with subtle flavors of mango, lemon, and orange. Finishes dry with hints of cloves, banana, and orange. And cloves and bananas, that's actually typical for wheat beers, so let's we'll see how we, how we go. Get my glass of quick cold water in, as per usual. This little glass rinser I have here. Just kind of make some room here so you can see what I'm doing without blocking the views. Alright, so I do like wheat beers generally. Mangoes, I, I can take them or leave them. It's not something, you know, it's not a favorite fruit or anything. So we'll say a nice golden or straw color. Definitely not clear by any means. A little bit of floaties in there. I'm assuming that's some mango stuff. And um, kind of a citrus aroma. Um, not getting anything really, really jumps out at me. Good or bad for that matter. Let's give it a taste. Interesting. I can definitely call it a wheat beer. Like I said, a lot of wheat beers. I'm not sure if it's a yeast or what. It, I'm pretty sure it's a yeast, but it gives off hints of cloves and banana, and I'm kind of getting that a typical wheat beer flavor. Um, not bad. Pretty easy drinking. I'm thinking so far. I have to give my rating. My ratings are always out of five. With the one, excuse me for a second, I just want to make sure I'm not missing any information on the can. No. Uh, ratings are always out of five. One being a drain for it, don't like it, can't finish it. I'm literally going to throw it down the drain. A two would be, yeah, I'm not a big fan, but you know, I don't want to waste my beer, so I'll finish it. A three would be a good beer, a four would be a very good beer, and a five would be the best beer ever. Um. For the grain and grit wheat mango, hmm, decisions, decisions. It's no less than a three. I'm thinking either three, three point five. Um, I think I'm gonna give it a three point five because it's a fairly easy drinking beer. A couple of mouthfuls, and I almost have it gone. It's definitely refreshing, and um. It's not overly flavorful, like you don't taste it automatically, you know, you're getting, for me, I'm not getting, it's not in your face tasting mangoes, but there's definitely something there kind of subtle, which is nice. Um, a lot of times I think it's hard to find that balance between, if you make it over flavorful, it almost gets to the point where it's almost cooler like more than beer like, but at the same point, you don't want to have a flavored beer where you don't get the flavor that's intended. And this one I'm, I find they made a really nice balance whereby I'm getting the mango or the fruit flavor, but it's subtle, it's not overwhelming, and I like that. Yeah, I think I'm definitely going to stick with my 3.5, and it's a strong 3.5 of that. So kudos to Green and Grit and the Amazing Bear Club for the first beer. As I said, I doubt if I'll get all through, the, through all these beers. I usually do about one beer a week, so right now it's May 1st, I have five left to go, plus I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, I got eight or nine beers in the fridge. So I don't think I'm going to get them all done. Uh, I might actually do two beers a week, maybe try to catch up, or I might do something where I buy, you know, two beers from the same brewery, perhaps, perhaps different breweries at the same time, so it'll be... One video with two beer reviews. I haven't really decided what I'm going to do, but we'll figure something out. So there you go, folks. 3.5 for the Free Spirit Wheat Beer with Mango from Green and Grit. Until next brew, as always, enjoy responsibly. Cheers.